Hey, welcome back out to uh, One for the Books, our project we're doing here um, in Paradise Valley. And something we're, we're doing on this job we mentioned last time is we're using EF block. Um, in this case, we're doing it for the stem walls as well. This is something the uh, homeowners had requested. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool system. Each block is about five feet long. They weigh about 40 pounds a piece. Um, they're 10 inches wide and they stack a little bit like Legos. I think some of the cool things about this block versus other block is that you do have these points in between where it's solid foam that goes through and you can core through and make penetrations in the walls, the interior and exterior where you need to, a lot easier than having to go through a concrete um, area. <clears throat> so I, I like that about this block. The other thing I think is cool is actually in the process that they, how they manufacture it. They use the state prison systems here in Arizona and um, it's recycled foam so it has little to no off gassing. It's also treated for, for pests and insects so you're not going to have to worry too much about um, termites and that type of thing. The other thing is you get um, an R40 value out of these walls when they go up. So in this case of doing the stem walls, um, <clears throat> we don't get a lot of rain here in the valley in Arizona, but when we do it rains and sometimes it rains heavy. And water on this particular property has held for a period of about three to four days after a heavy rainfall. So I am concerned a little bit about penetration, water penetration through these blocks because they are porous and water will more or less filter right through and go to the other side. So even though it's an under slab system that we're doing here, uh, I am still concerned about the water intrusion going in, disturbing the soil inside under the slab, potentially causing movement and maybe cracking down the road. So we will waterproof the stem as well as uh, once we go vertical beyond the slab, we'll look at making sure we have the correct weather barrier on the outside prior to um, finishing. Because with this block, you can finish your stucco product on the outside directly over it. And on the inside, you can finish it with um, plaster and get a smooth wall finish or whatever texture finish you want from the plaster. So it is a cool product, but it does have its have its uh, setbacks in my opinion. So that one being that water intrusion um, is one of them. So other than that, it's an easy assembly product. Um, the owners that are putting this together, sorry, the owners of EF Block, a young couple that's out here, um, the, the, the lady, Lindsay, just recently had a baby. She's out here packing block around and setting them. So they're pretty easy to handle. It's not like packing concrete forms or anything like that, or CMU block. Um, once you get these things installed, you can see we got to do it, follow a layout on vertical steel. So in the process of setting forms for the footings, we are measuring and doing a layout of the steel to fit inside of the core points on these block. And if you look on the inside of the block, you can look at this one here, it's got a little saddle and they laid the horizontal steel, it just goes right through here. There's an opening at the end, once they stack this block, it's an opening here. They just shove it through, it lays in. And as they go vertical, they're tying that steel to the, to the uh, vertical steel as they stack they're still tying that steel off at these points. So it is all getting tied in on a grid. So that part of it's pretty cool. So um, looking forward to seeing how it turns out. This is my first build using EF block. So thanks for joining us with AFT out at the uh, one for the books job. Thanks. <laughs>